more than 750 million container movements are recorded globally in the supply chain every year. Only a few of these containers transport illicit and dangerous goods. But the trade of these goods finances global criminal groups and terrorist organizations, with a very negative impact on people's lives all over the world. The Container Control Program assists member states seeking to improve risk management, supply chain security and trade facilitation by establishing control units, strengthening capacities, sharing intelligence and promoting interconnectedness. With a presence in over 70 countries, the CCP supports more than 120 port control units and air cargo control units bringing together customs and other relevant law enforcement agencies. Training is essential in the fight against organized crime. The training serves to sensitize our officers in the ports and at the airports uh, to distinguish what is a legitimate uh, shipment and what may be a shipment which contains uh, illicit goods. Through proper risk profiling. So this is Interconnectedness helps the control units improve cooperation among national, regional and international law enforcement entities. Sharing intelligence such as risk assessments or container regulations is essential for effective collaboration. A key asset of the Container Control Program is its information and intelligence exchange electronic platform, the Container Com. It links all units and countries associated with the program. A strategic objective in CCP's interconnectedness is working with the private sector to confront the challenge posed by free ports where there is no control by customs or other law enforcement agencies. Strengthening capacities and interconnectedness are bearing fruit the number of countries joining the Container Control Program has increasingly grown over the last decade, given the program's success. With strengthened capacities, intelligence and interconnectedness, the Container Control Program is helping make the world safer from drugs, organized crime, corruption and terrorism. We look forward to jointly continuing the path to ensure sustainable development with our law enforcement partners, donors, civil society and private sector.